Well, that's a good squeeze. McAllister's got on Archer. Terrific Ulster scrum. Williams in all sorts of trouble. Well, here's Pinar. He's putting the ears back. He's not going to let this one go. Bonus point. Try time for Ulster. Courtesy of Ruan Pinar. But the Ulster front five have to take the credit for that. Well, Johan Muller brought them in, had a chat during the break. It was obviously about the scrum, and then uh, they exploded into that scrum twice now. The scrum has led to those errors from Munster that Ulster have capitalised on. Fourth try, and you would expect game one at the 55th minute mark for Ulster. It was a terrific piece of set play by the Ulster forwards, and Pienaar, is not too shabby in the sprinting stakes, took full advantage. But look at that shunt, the Munster 8 going back at a rate of knots. Williams disrupted, Pienaar delighted. And some tremendous work by Chris Henry. That's the benefit, you've got Falloon on one side and Henry on the other. And on both occasions, uh, they were the one pressurising the halfback, forcing the mistake that led to the turnover for the Ulster try. Well, a Munster victory here tonight would certainly have ended Ulster's hopes of a a playoff place in this league competition would have taken Munster up to uh, second place and Ulster should uh, move up the table still a long way to go 23 24 minutes to go here's Humphreys didn't make that one either but it was very close seems to be better from long range better from long range than he is from close however four tries Ulster leading by 30 points to 10 great work by Henry on the back of a Phenomenally strong Ulster scrummage, and away went Pino at a considerable and elegant counter.